Yeah, um, this is uh, Big Charm, Charlie Besatis, Bang Bang Rail. Good, then. I love it, I love it. Yeah, but um, the other day I was going through the phone and I found some pictures of Lenny McLean, uh, which pictures I couldn't believe. Uh, Lenny McLean and Frankie Warren. This is how I knew him. This is how I knew Lenny McLean and Frankie Warren years ago, yeah? And uh, when, Lenny, when Frankie Warren was doing all the unlicensed fights, and he's, you know, it's, it's crazy, really. You know, I mean, how well he's, look at him now, how well he's gone forward. He's in the boxing board of control. And he's, at one stage, he didn't like the boxing board of control, but now he's right involved, yeah, as they do. Come on, same as Ernst, as they all do, you know. And uh, when I see uh, Lenny McLean uh, with Frank, that is how I met Lenny McLean when I, when I was, uh, when I fought Brian Hall at the Rainbow. And uh, yeah, it's, that's, how, that's how I remember him, yeah. Uh, Lenny McLean. I mean, you look at him, you think, nah, that can't be Lenny, but it is. And uh, after that, uh, yeah, then he started going down at certain gyms and taking the roids and got massive, yeah? And uh, he blew up to about, what, 22, 23 stone? And at that time there, he was about 17 stone, 16 or 17 stone. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of difference. And you won't believe it when you see it, yeah? But I'll put it on the, on the front, front of this uh, video and you'll be able to see it. But yeah, yeah, um, as I say, Lenny, uh, this is the time I used to spar around with Lenny. This is about the time, and you can see the difference with Lenny then to what he was now in Pirates. I know he couldn't have beat him, but I was also big. Don't forget, I got big myself later on, later on in my career, yeah? But uh, there was uh, Donnie the Bull Adams, you had Roy Shaw, you had Lenny McLean, you know, which is over that, over there, really, that is always fighting. Uh, they really brought the uh, unlicensed fighting uh, into the limelight, you know. Uh, Roy Shaw had lots of quite a few fights. Uh, Lenny had about 12, I think, 13 fights, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and, you know, but they brought the unlicensed fighting into it with, with um, uh, you know, if you've got someone like Frankie Warren, he, I mean, he was uh, related to, to, to Lenny, so therefore he pushed Lenny yet forward. And uh, Frankie Warren was good what he'd done. Then he become a good promoter. He's a, now a professional promoter. That's absolutely stunning, and he went not stunning. Sorry, it sounds gay, but now he's, he's good at what he does, and he's. I should imagine he's a multi-millionaire now. Like Hearns, Hearns the same, mate. The exact same. They're all gangsters. Believe it, they're all gangsters, mate, and they've gone forward like that. Yeah, they're all other people I know, and uh, yeah, yeah. And it, it, I'm gutted really because I mean Lenny was was. Absolutely, the business with Roy Shaw, yeah. I mean, Lenny brought it, it really to the front. I mean, he got in at the right time. He became uh, an actor. Uh, he was on films, Lock, Stop, Stop, Lock, Stop Two Smoky Barrels, and all them sort of things, them sort of films. And he was good, you know, really, really good at what he did. A good actor, yeah. And Leah, and he started earning money, and his book sold. I mean, it sold, must have sold two million books. You know, maybe even more than that, yeah. I think he'd written about three or four books. And uh, for Lee, for, I think it was Lee Walsley. Lee Walsley wrote his books. Lee was going to write my book, but um, I, I've got someone else to do mine. But Lee's very good at writing books. He puts it together well, but it, it wasn't for me, yeah. But, you know, Lee, I think Lee done about three or four books. I think I sold about a million, million copies. I'm not quite sure. But that made Lenny a millionaire. Lenny died a millionaire, you know. Lenny died as a millionaire. Same as Roy. Roy died as a millionaire, but also Roy had business, uh, other businesses like car, car businesses and all that, yeah? And I had a lot, a lot of respect for Roy as well. And, uh, I, you know, Roy, Lenny and Don Liverpool Adams, uh, they were the business. Uh, and as I say, people go, yeah, you couldn't have beat Lenny McLean and all that game you spot. But you've got to remember that that is when I thought, Lenny, that's what I used to spy with Lenny when he was that, like that, I want to show you, yeah? Uh, then he become really big, uh, working in the clubs and all the string fellas and all the hippodromes and all these other clubs he worked at. And, um, yeah, you know, and he, he, and he blew up, you know, and he blew up and he got bigger and bigger. And when I see a picture of him, uh, a picture of him really ill, really ill, and it gutted me, really. You know, when I see him like that, I thought, that ain't Len. That ain't Lenny. That's how I see Lenny when I was in Brixton Prison. Uh, that's how I remember him to, to, to a certain extent. 
and they look quite rough in Brixton prison. Um, I've got a cut, I've got a screw that, uh, that, that does a lot of comments, and he, he says he remember Lenny. Lenny was a gentleman there, very quiet. Well, he was more likely very quiet because they're more likely to give, give him so many drugs in his food that he had to be quiet. He had no other, no, no other way. And, and certain drugs they give you, mate, it stays in your system. Them things are no good for you, mate. I mean, they've jabbed me up, punished me with all sorts of drugs, you know, and they're no good for you, mate. They, they, do, they do more harm than good. Um, when in prison, you've got these uh, medical screws in prison, they're not that good, mate. They jab you up with anything, yeah? That's why you're better off going to someone like Bullmore because they're proper doctors, proper people to give injections and that's exactly what they're giving you. Whereas, you know, people think of Bullmore say, oh, it's mad and that. But Bullmore's good, better than all the prisons, yeah? So they always remember that. People go, oh, Bullmore, Bullmore's good. Comparison to all the prisons, yeah? Believe me, you've got long-term prisons, mate. Some of them are really bad. Some prisons you can go to, like Dartmoor. You know, you go to them sort of places, mate, you know you're in trouble. You know, if you're a long-term prisoner. You can easily get mullered, you know what I mean? And yeah, but um, when I think about all the fighters that I knew in them days, yeah, uh, I'm going to get a list, I'm going to write a list out, yeah, of the fight, all the fighters I knew in them days. Um, listen, they would smash, they would smash the fighters on this unlicensed fighting go around today. They ain't got a chance, mate. They wouldn't have a chance with the fighters that was in my time. They ain't got a chance. All this fighting now they're doing is a joke. It's a it's a it's a cattle market. Do you know what I mean? That's why that's why when I talk to people like Matt Legg and and I talk to uh, Joe Smith and and, and my, my my man uh, Terry Alia and I want to get some promotions going. I want to start doing proper fights. You know, I know a couple of uh, I know a travelling guy. Yeah, Adam. My mate Adam from uh, from Harrow, good fighter, mate. Powerful, powerful, powerful man. Uh, Travelling fella, can really have it. Seventy stone he is, but he can really have it, mate. He can re He wants to fight. He wants to fight. So he'll fight anybody out there who wants to fight, mate. He's up for it. He's sixteen and a half stone. Can have a right round. Anybody wants to let me know, and I'll put it together. Yeah, but um, I'm trying to. I really want to get our promotions going. Matt Legg, Matt Legg, uh, Joe Smith and Terry Ailey. And you know, if we can get other people that are interested, let me know, yeah? Because I want to get into this. I want to get into this big time. I want to show people what it's about, you know what I mean? Come in my days, it was different, mate. It was so different. There was none of this, oh, uh, yeah, uh, go away, train for six weeks to uh, whatever it is. Listen, you want the fight, mate. You'd fight in the next day. Two, three times a week I could have fights with, with, with people, Dorman and all that. Two, three times a week. And then you go down to Beckett, you wind up on your heels. Listen, without a shadow of a doubt, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, I got a little bit punchy. I'm still a bit punchy now because we were having, as I say, one, two, four, three, even three fights a week or a month. If you was lucky, you know what I mean? I mean, it wasn't hard to get it. Now, they have a fight, they wait six weeks, eight weeks to get themselves fit. They're unlicensed fighters. They ain't professional fighters. They're unlicensed fighters, mate. Get in the ring and fight. Fight. Don't walk around like Pansy Potters, you know, and get in that ring and fight. Let's see you fight. You know what I mean? All this bare knuckle shit. Get in there and fight, you know? They're making a lot of money out of nothing, yeah? Let's get it together and get proper fights going. Listen, Matt Legg, Matt Legg, mate, Joe Smith, come on, and my mate Terry A, let's get it on, yeah? Because I want it, I want it big time. Listen, please, yeah? All right, now, this is Bang Bang Ray all. Listen, big, big, big respect, yeah? Big respect and rest in peace, Roy Shaw. Big, big, big respect, rest in peace, Lenny McLean. I know that I always said this about Lenny, that about Lenny, but that's what we do. We all do that, you know what I mean? We all do that. Uh, none of us like to run each other down, mug ourselves off, because we're fighters. We don't, you know, we are what we are, yeah? Uh, I believe that I could beat Lenny when, at that time. Maybe not, maybe, maybe not but later on, I don't know, you know what I mean? But at that time, when I show you this picture. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Please have a like, uh, please have a, a like and subscribe. 
And well, this is also big time Charlie Good Sayers, Bang Bang Rail, yeah? Remember that, yeah? Bye bye.